In this video we will be covering Huntington's disease. By the end you should be able to describe the structural anatomical changes that occur, understand the genetic cause, describe the symptoms and be aware of the current treatment options. What are the structural changes that occur to the brain due to Huntington's disease? Atrophy of the cerebrum which is caused by the abnormal production of Huntington protein. The progressive atrophy leads to changes in mood and a decline in cognition, eventually resulting in dementia. Enlargement of ventricles. This is caused by the global loss of neurons in the brain, again from the abnormal formation of Huntington protein. Atrophy of the basal ganglia, which plays a key role in movement and behaviour control. This causes a hyperkinetic disorder called career and disinhibition, which is loss of restraint and increased impulsivity. What is the genetic cause of Huntington's disease? Huntington's disease is an inherited neurodegenerative disease caused by a mutation on chromosome 4 to the Huntington gene. The mutated Huntington gene codes for an abnormal Huntington protein, which damages neurons, leading to widespread neuron atrophy. The mutated Huntington gene is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion. The mutation comprises of CAG or CAG trinucleotide repeats, which continue to enlarge at subsequent generations. This leads to genetic anticipation, in which symptoms of Huntington's disease are more severe and or occur at an earlier age with each generation. A key part of learning is repetition, so now I'm going to go through a summary of Huntington's disease. Definition. It is an inherited disorder resulting in death of neurons. This causes career, which becomes worse over time. Eventually, behaviours, emotions and cognition are all affected. HD is caused by a gene mutation that leads to a CAG repeat expansion, leading to a faulty protein. HD is autosomal dominant, and therefore offspring have a 50% chance of inheriting the gene. Treatment. There is no current treatment that can stop or reverse the progression of disease. Medication can help control career and the associated psychotic symptoms. Commonly prescribed drugs to manage career include tetrabenazine and dutrabenazine. Prognosis. The prognosis is bleak. The symptoms of the disease are progressive and cannot be slowed by prescribing drugs, like with some other progressive neurological disorders. Patients tend not to live beyond 10 to 30 years following the onset of the first symptoms. Cause of death is usually indirect, either through infections or repeated falls. Research. Current activity has focused on cellular and molecular mechanisms. In particular, effort has been concentrated towards how the mutant Huntington protein caused by the irregular repeat DNA sequences, affects cell signalling and how its structure contributes to the disease process. Some approaches have also used biomarkers and are investigating the potential of stem cells as therapy. Find us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.